Today we're going to run through the install of the dedicated pinball build. Uh, I just want to kind of go through, uh, you know, the process on, um, I guess maybe uh, just just getting everything in its correct uh, place, um, setting up the emulators, installing your net files, etc. So if you look to the screen here, um, there's going to be a series of steps that you got to kind of follow. And um, the first thing you want to do is you want to get your drive running on F. And this program here is going to allow you to do that. You're just going to right click, you're going to go run as admin. And then you're going to go down to the drive that you have the setup on. You're going to change the letter and you're going to choose the drive letter, which is going to be F. So once that is done, you're going to go to 1C and then you're going to clear your cache. Just double click it. It's more of a precaution than, than anything. Um, you want to have your screens already set up uh, in order and uh, it's going to show that here once I start the install. Um, once that is done, go into um, go to 1D and right click and run as administrator. This needs to be run as an admin. Um, or else you're going to run into problems. There's a couple of reasons why uh, things when they kind of go through the install have to be running as admin or you're going to just have problems. Anyways, let's run it now. And the first thing it's going to ask you is are you running as admin? Um, click yes if you, if you are. No, if you're not, it'll exit you out. So I'm going to click yes. And what it did there is it actually created the virtual links uh, linking the two front ends to each other. And if you look on the right side here, you can see the virtual links were created for the, um, for, you know, for this particular wheel. This, this is future pinball. If you go in here, it's going to link directly to, um, it's going to link directly to the media in the pinup X folder. So, uh, going back, uh, what you've got uh, here, you've got a menu, and now it's going to ask you how many screens you've got. Um, three or two, obviously you can still have a topper. Uh, the front end controls that, so you don't really have to include it in the install. But um, for me, I've actually got three screens, so I'm going to click yes. And then it's going to ask you, are, do you have a 4K play field or you got a 1080p play field? I personally have uh, a 1080p, so I'm going to click no. I got a 1080p for that. I've got another 4K in the room, but for this uh, demonstration, I'm going to be clicking no. And then it's going to bring up another menu. It says uh, make sure your drive is uh, set to F. And then it's going to basically explain uh, the key takeaways of setting up your screens. Uh, the play field is going to be your primary screen. Back glass is going to be two. DMD is going to be three. Topper is going to be four. Uh, keep all your monitors in landscape mode. Have them all lined up uh, top side by side. Scale and layout must be 100%. And then when you click OK, it's going to bring up another screen showing exactly what that means. Play field, back glass, DMD topper, etc. So let's close that out. Um, now we're going to install the various net files as well as the registry files for uh, pinball popper, no I'm sorry, um, for visual pinball as well as future pinball. You're just going to hit OK. This is going to be the codex for pinball X. You're just going to run through things and install as directed. I'm going to hit cancel because I've already got it installed. Uh, the next, I, I think more net files are going to be coming up here. I'm going to just hit cancel. Even if your net files have already been installed on your PC, um, just try to reinstall them anyway. If it doesn't let you, cancel, no biggie. Um, it will just kind of continue on with the install after. Uh, DirectX, I'm going to hit cancel. And then there should be a few more net files here. Um, close, close, sorry for the beeping, um, it's going to hit OK, that's a fast install I knew, that was going to be fast anyway, close, and close, that might be the last one, there may be one more, 
Yeah, there's. I think this might be the last one. Oh, no, there's this. I'm hoping this is the last one. Nope. Okay, there's a few. They've all got to be installed, though. Uh, for the things to run. So we are done that. Um, now let's uh, install the Pinball X side of things. Uh, Pinball X has its own net files, so you want to install them anyway just for the net files, but you're not going to be using this version. You can delete it after if you like. Um, I'm just going to hit cancel. Uh, this is the registry part. This is going to be installing your uh, three screen 2K final registry which is like 2k is actually 1080p so I'm just gonna hit yes and hit OK and now what we're doing is we're actually uh, configuring the third screen for pinball X and when this opens up you're gonna click display and you're just gonna go down and you're gonna compare what you have back glass because my back glass is only 1080p it's going to have the following coordinates um, you're going to go down to DMD it's going to be th this is actually going to be custom um, some people have smaller DVDs some people have like full 1080p DVDs whatever your coordinates are because it's the third screen um, you can just kind of make them here uh, your topper since it's actually controlled by the front end you can enable if you've got a fourth screen I don't I'm just gonna leave it as no but uh, put in your topper coordinates as well and then once all that is done you're gonna close it out uh, to install and compare the global settings oh this is for VPN uh, VPN MAME uh, give it a second it's gonna open up uh, the VPN MAME and there's gonna be two different um, two different uh, tabs that you want to click it's going to be set up paths as well as set up defaults so you can hit set up paths and just make sure everything matches right and set up defaults uh, you want to click use external DMD this is going to be your freezy so you want to click that click OK click it out and now it's going to open up the this is the Ghostbusters required file, the uh, the pin uh, SPA. So then you're just going to compare the pass, make sure that's correct, and make sure everything was checked um, just like the previous screen. So I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to hit Close. Um, now we're going to set up Pinball Popper. Um, it just installed uh, the 2K version of Pinball Popper, which is really just the the 1080p version. And I'm going to click OK. Um, now it wants me to run um, this. This actually tells me to run uh, this file here. So I'm going to run it as admin. And I'm going to click No. I'm going to click No. Move the screen out of the way. And what you're going to do is you're just going to go down and configure each one um, and make sure everything matches. Uh, I got a, uh, the scripting actually should uh, import the values in the proper ones um, for each one. But if it's not correct, check it. It should be um, as long as you've got either a 4K play field or a 1080p play field, and then all your other settings are correct. And then um, if you pay attention down to the DMD down here, obviously uh, you've got um, two variables that you've got to change, your DMD X res, your DMD Y res, and you're just going to put them custom values to whatever resolution your DMD is. And then once all that's done, you're going to hit Save Settings, Exit, going to close this out and then you're going to hit enter. Um, pinball popper and its screens have now been configured. Let's move on to the next section. Um, the next section is it you're going to have to go back into the pinball setup folder and run each one individually as administrator. Run as admin. Run as admin. And with um oh yes run the three hit OK now it's gonna want you to uh, set up the flex 
uh, DMD. This actually runs twice for some reason. I looked in the scripting and um, it's it shouldn't be running twice, but it is. I don't know what's causing it. Anyway, it doesn't matter. So you're going to hit uh, run as admin. You're going to select the folder. It's uh, going to your F drive, arcade, emulator, visual pinball, um, vpin main, right like this. Hit OK. And then it's going to say these are these are not registered since I've already done it they've got check marks hit register register and then close out and then hit this and then this opens up again and it runs it again and I, I don't know what's causing this anyway it doesn't matter just close it now you want to set up the B2S which is here you're gonna hit run as admin and then you're going to hit OK. It's going to bring up a screen. And what you're going to do is you're just going to compare your values. The play field obviously is going to be uh, 1080p, so the values are there. Your screen 2 is going to be your back glass, which is, um, if you go into your settings, it could be 1 or 2. But I'm, it works 2 for me, so this is what I've got selected. My back glass is going to be 1080p, so I've got the values for that. And then you've got um, your... Um, DMD which is going to be your um, it, it's going to be you're going to be adding the back glass to the play field and then this is how you get this value so 19 to 20 times 2 is obviously going to be 3840 that's kind of how you get that value and then my DMD is going to be uh, 1080p which is these values so I'm going to close this I'm going to close this hit OK and now what we're going to do is we're going to set up Pinball Arcade. Um, what you want to do is you want to hit Default. Um, I'm not going to hit anything really. I'm just going to kind of show you everything. Um, this is going to open. Uh, Pinball Arcade should open. And then you're just going to go through and you're going to compare your values. On the left side, here's your cabinet settings. This is you're going to be DX11 settings. But this is still, both are crucial to having things run properly. Um, just because when the screen flips, obviously, uh, your width and your height are going to in invert. So that's basically why these are like that. And then if you go here, um, you can kind of see the settings. Um, so I'm going to hit done and hit OK. And now what we're going to do is we're going to set up uh, Pinball FX2, uh, the resolution, set controls, cabinet mode settings. I'm going to hit OK. Uh, take a picture of this. Um, these are the settings that you want to set. It's going to be A and D for your nudges. Uh, your screen resolution is going to be 1080p. And then these are the values that you want to set uh, for your three screen 2k settings and so take a picture of this you're going to, this is going to be useful uh, when it opens and then when it opens it says it's now going to launch fx2 give it a second gonna go in and there's two things you want to check you want to check the settings controls you want to make sure this is A and D, and then um, you want to go back into the main menu, cabinet mode, cabinet mode support here. Bring up that picture that you took off either on your uh, on your camera, on your iPad, on your phone whatever just something you can kind of scroll in check the values and then go down and put the respective values here 270 orientation etc um, then once all that's done go back to the main menu and just exit out exit game and your values should save uh, now we're going to opening open up fx3 and what you want to do is you're going to be doing the same exact thing, but now it's actually broken into two parts. The first program that you're going to open is going to link the two different FX3 programs together. And then once that's linked, you're going to um, enable cabinet mode on the first program. And then once that's done, you're going to exit out. It's going to basically bring up the same screen that you had for FX2, take another picture of it, and then go into the second program for FX3 and put in the same values. Make sure your nudge, your nudges are A and D, etc. And uh, just take 
key to this code. Write this code down. Um, you you might need it, you might not, um, but if you do need it, you have it. So uh, the code, um, this is just the directions to get into cabinet mode. So we're going to close that. Now FX3 is going to run. And this has a little bit longer load time than uh, FX2. So, it's the link accounts. Enter. Now we're going to go in here. And you're just going to go through and set your various settings as so. And then you're going to go into options, controls, and make sure your nudge is A and D and that's pretty much it. Oh and then make sure your resolution is going to be your 1080p. So this exit. Um, now you're going to open up the second program and like FX2 you're going to get the screen take a picture of this so you can kind of scroll in. The things you want to focus on is obviously going to be your resolution, your nudges, as well as your values uh, for each one. Take heed of your dot matrix, which is your DMD. Uh, DMD X res, DMD Y res, those are going to be custom to whatever screen size you have. And then you're going to click exit. And then uh, this is going to open again. Uh, accept. Even if it just hit cancel, whatever. Um, go into your. Um, go into your. Uh, your your uh, cabinet mode settings. You should have the code here that you put in on the other screen. And uh, options. Controls. A and D for your buttons, etc. And then once all that is done, hit exit, escape. And the final step is going to be your Ultra DMD. So you just click this, install. Um, I'm going to click cancel, but just kind of do what it asks you to. Install that, and then OK. And then uh, after you're all done, give your computer a fresh reboot. And that's pretty much it. So. Anyway, um, I'm going to be including this video on the um, on the uh, setup, and then you can kind of watch it, go back to it, you know, follow it, um, just get whatever you need from it, etc. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.